Uh, well, I mean, when they got the ball, they got the ball inside and into the high post a lot in the second half when we're scoring, and that's that really just comes down to sorry, um, my defense uh, just being more active, being aggressive in there, and, and not letting them get the ball in the, the high post like that. And, and when they do, I have to be able to, to come up and make a better play on it. But um, yeah, I mean, there's a couple of different things that we weren't doing too well, but I mean, we were able to fight it out. How do you deny it? Is it just kind of moving up and back and just, yeah, just, it's just scaring them a little Yeah, bit? it's kind of just uh, disturbing, you know, the passing lanes and they're kind of trying to take things away, not, not making everything look easy for them. And, um, you know, even the first half, we let a couple passes go through there and it just can't happen. Um, small things like that. Uh, take them to the final possession or, or that, that, that battle shot, whatever you remember. Yeah, um, so the plan was I was going to take it out of bounds and, and Almost pretty much do what uh, Villanova did. Um, you know, give it to John, let him go up, try and get in the paint, hit a hit an open shooter on the lane. But if that wasn't open, kick it back to me, Traylon. And uh, you know, he tried going, and they did a good job defending him and cut him off. And so he, he put it back to me. And um, Blossom game was, was up, so I wasn't going to take that shot. I knew we still had a little bit of time left, and um, you know, I was just able to get by him. And I saw Tyus in the corner open, so um, you know, I just gave him the rock and hope for the best. Where's the confidence level at right now for you guys' ability to pull out these these close games time and time again? Uh, we, we're really confident in our team, and I think uh, we're just more cohesive. Uh, I think we're more together. I think everybody just wants to see the man beside them do well, and that kind of showed tonight because we played a bad game almost all the way around, but uh, with the press and with the power of the three-point line, you're never out of any game. So, uh, we'll make corrections, but it was good to kind of get one on the road and win it, and our confidence is building, but I think it's more so desperation is what you see out of this team. I mean, we're, we're fighting for our lives right now. We probably can't afford to lose, but we can't afford to lose any games, you know, to be where we want to be at the end of the year. So. It was like a tournament game for us. NC State was like a tournament. We're just fighting for our lives every night, and that's what you're kind of seeing on the court. I mean, what, what does it feel like to be able to not play your best and still pull out wins on the road, something that obviously wasn't happening earlier in the year? Yeah, it just gives us enough to uh, correct and fight another day. I mean, that's, that's kind of the approach I take. So it's kind of an exhale, deep breath, because we had lessons to learn regardless, win or lose, but you'd rather have that on a win than a loss. So, I mean, obviously, we're going to have to go and tighten up some things for our next game this weekend on the road. But, hey, we'll take any game we can get at this point. Hey, can you just take me through the last play a little bit, how things looked from your vantage point? Uh, yeah, so I was deep in the corner, just waiting for the ball to come. Tyler uh, popped, and he made a great play to get in there, drive, and kick the tires. And I was about, when I was on the right block, probably when the shot went up. And it, I, I could see it better than anybody, and it looked straight on line. And, you know, it fell right down into my lap, so it was huge. I haven't been that excited in a long time.